Good morning, everyone. So I am teacher Joseph, and I am your math teacher. So today is our 26th day of our online math class. So same topic for today, that is time. So I want you to get your book and open it on page 95. So we are on letter C, 9, 5, 95. Okay, so letter C. On letter C, we have to draw the, the hands on each clock according to the stated time. So we know that the clock has two hands, right? The short hand and the long hand. So I explained that already. So the short hand talks about the hours and the long hand talks about the minutes. So today, we are going to draw the hands of each clock okay so let's go now to number one so the time is 11 10 a.m so the first number the first two numbers talks about the hours so that is 11 so we have to draw small hand pointing at 11 so where is 11 this one so we draw small hand there then 10 so if we talk about the minutes, we don't read this by one, okay? So we look at the small here, small lines here. So this will be one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. So in one, so if it points at one, that is five minutes, five, 10, 15, 20, and so on until 60. But this is zero, zero, not six, six, zero, okay? Let's proceed. So next one is 10 in minutes. So 5, 10. So this one should be the long hands. Okay, so that's it. So that is already the time. 11, 10. Okay, very good. Next, let's go to number 2. Number 2 time is 9, 32 okay so again first number is nine so that is the hour so the nine here is here okay so that is the small hand okay next is look at the minutes that is 32 so let's do fives okay five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty so that is 32 right so 30, 31, 32. So this is the long hands. Okay, so the time is 9.32. So that is the time. Very good. See, it's very easy. Okay, let's go now to number three. Number three, the time is 2.43 a.m. Okay. So let's look at the hour. That is two. So this is two, right? So that is the small hand. Okay. Then the minutes is 43. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. This is 40. 41, 42, 43. So that is the long hand. Okay. So the time is 2. 43 a.m. Very good. Now, let's go to number four. Number four is 0, 0, 00.38. Okay, so what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? So, 00, zero other name for that is 12. So, it goes like this. So, the small hand will point at 12 here. Then the 38 is the minutes. So 1, oh, I mean 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay, so 36, 37, 38. So this is the long hand. Okay, very good, kids. Okay, now let's go to number 5. Number five, we have 1.57 p.m. Okay, so the hour is one, so the small hand should point here. 
Then the minutes is 57. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Okay, so 55, 56, 57. So that is the time. 1 57 p.m. Okay, good job. Now let's go to number six. So number six is eight o'clock at night. So again, what is the minute of o'clock? That is of the clock. So eight o'clock, that means the long hand points at 12. So first one is eight. Look for eight first. That is the small hand. So eight is here. So that is the small hand. Then the o'clock is at 12. So the long hand should be at 12. So the time is 8 o'clock at night. Good job. Next, let's go to number 7. So number 7, 5 minutes to 1 in the afternoon. So if you say 5 minutes to 1, you need to... Um, Remember this word, two, meaning going there. Okay, so going there. So it is not one yet, but it is going there. So how many minutes before one? So it says five minutes to one. So that will become here. The long hand should be here because it's five before 12. Okay, so where should be the small hand? Okay, so five minutes to one. Before 1, an hour is 12. So that means the small hand points at 12. Then 5 minutes before 12, that is 11. Okay, or 55 minutes. So that means this is the answer. So that is the long hand. So if you read this clock, it says 12.55. Or the other name for it is 5 minutes to 1. Okay, either in the afternoon or in the morning. So, but here, five minutes to one in the afternoon. So, that is the time. Okay, very good. Now, let's go to number eight. Number eight, 322. So, three here is the hour. So, where is three here? The shorthand is a three here. Next is 22. So, 22 here is the minutes. So 22, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. So that is the long hand. Okay, very easy. Okay, good job. Next, let's go to number 9. Next, number 9. Oh. Okay, so let's go now to number 9. Okay, number nine. So number nine time is 1047. So the first uh, word here is the hour. So 10 is here. So that is the small hand. Okay, next is 47. So 47, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47. So that is the long hand. Okay? If you look at the clock, it says 10, 47. Okay, very good. Next, let's go to number 10. So 5 o'clock in the morning. Again, the meaning of o'clock is of the clock. So it's it means that the long hand points at 12. Okay, so first let's look at the hour. So that's 5. So let's look for 5 here. So that is the small hand. Next is the o'clock, so that it's 12. So the long hand is at 12. So if you look at the clock, that is 5 o'clock in the morning. Okay, very good. Now let's go to number 11. So number 11, we have 19.06 hours. So 19.06 hours. 
So there is an hours at the end, so that means it is a 24-hour system. We know that the clock is only at 12, right? So it doesn't have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, 24 right because it has 12 look it has only 12 but for a 24 hour system uh, you have to add 12 if it is at the afternoon or at night time so example this one 19 so we know that it's only 12 so we have to subtract 19 minus 12 okay let me solve so if this is 19 right 19 is uh one 9 that is 19 minus 12 that will be okay there is 19 minus 12 so 9 minus 2 is 7 so that is the hour 7 okay so let's look for 7 so that is the small clock i mean the small hand then o oh, 6 hours so o oh, 6 meaning 0 6 so where is six here? So minutes, right? So five, six. So this is 06. So that will be the long hand. So time is 1906 hours or 706 in the evening. Okay, so 1906 hours. Okay, very good. Now for the last one. So that is 34 minutes past 10 at night. Okay. So 34 minutes past 10. So 10 here is the hour. But the minutes is 34 minutes past 10, meaning after 10. Past, meaning it passed already. So let's write first the hour that is 10. Okay. Then look for 34 minutes after 10. So this is 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, oh, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, because 34 minutes only. So that means the long hand is here. Okay, so 10, 34, oh, 34 minutes past 10 at night or 10, 34 in the evening. Okay, so that's the answer. Okay, we're finished. Very good. Now, let's go to letter. Let's go now to letter D. Okay. Okay, so let's go now to letter D. So open your books on page 97. Okay, 97. So we have to fill in the blanks. Okay, so letter D. So a drama, so let's start with number one. A drama started at 20.30 hours and ended at 21.44 hours. How long did the drama last? Okay, so what do you think? 20.30 hours and ended at 21.44 hours. Okay, before we answer. When you answer, you have to know the start time how long or the duration and the end time so that it will be easier for you to answer any problem regarding time or any word problem so like this one started meaning this is the start time ended meaning this is the end time but the question is how long so that is in the middle so you have to subtract right so that is the shortcut 21 minus 44, I mean 21, 44 minus 20, 30, that is already the answer. But let's do this in long method. So this one, 20, 30, if you add one hour, that will become 21, 30, right? So that is one hour. But it ended at 44. So 21, 30 to 21, 44, what is the difference? So 44 minus 30 so let's solve 44 minus 30 so 4 minus 3 is 4 4 minus 3 is 1 that means the minutes here is 14 okay so the answer will be the drama lasted for one hour 
and 14 minutes. So that's the answer. Very good. Now, let's go now to number two. Number two, Lynn went to a friend's birthday party at 1820 hours and returned home at 2107 hours. How long was she at the party? Again, let's look for the start time. The start time here is 1820 and the end time here is 21.07. Okay, let's do it this one using this line. So 1820 plus 920. Okay, let's write here. So if you go here, 1820 plus 1, that will become 920. Right? Okay, 1920. The 1920 to 2020, that is another one hour. So that means the answer here will be 1820 to 2020, that is two hours. Okay, then how many uh, hours in end time? That is 2107. So what will be the answer here? Okay, so 2107 minus 2020. Again, in one hour, we have 60 minutes, right? Okay, so 2020, if it becomes 21, we have to add 40, right? To make it 60, to make it 21. Then 40 plus the remaining here, or more than 21, that is 7. So 40 plus 7, that will become, yes, that's 47. Okay, so the answer here will be, Lynn was at the party for 2 hours and 47 minutes. So that is how to solve this kind of problem okay so um let's end here so number three number four number five and number six and the rest of the problems we will answer on our next class so i hope you understand that one and i will explain that on our next class okay Thank you, everyone, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye and stay safe.